AT&T is billions of dollars in debt. Does anybody give a damn about that, the way they've treated their customers? In this video, we're going to talk about AT&T and some of the other latest and greatest cord cutting news I found over the last week in this video. What's good, YouTube? You're back in the building with the all knowing, all loving, all feeling, all seeing, all powerful. Just damn all everything. The sexy as hell host of this Life Games channel, bringing you more cord, cord cutting news, excuse me about that, that can help you save money and or make money if you're following the Life Games financial channel as we talk about stocks that's hot in their area. And before we talk about all that, I gotta put on the plus seven glasses of sexy as hell, baby. Because I'm working on skilling up this craft, bringing you a more informed YouTube experience, something better to look at. No sponsor for this video per se, but go subscribe to the Life Gains Finance and Fitness channel. Also subscribe to my other social media outlets. And down in the video description box, I am starting to talk to my subscribers 15 minutes a couple of times a month. For those that are doing fitness, those doing finances, want to know about cord cutting, subscribe to that email list that you see and you might be selected to get that 15 minute conversation walkthrough. So I guess the first biggest news on this thing is that AT&T has a 10% stake in Hulu and they're thinking about selling it because AT&T's asses is 175, let me make sure I got that right, million dollars in debt, $175 million. That's probably sweet chin music for some of y'all considering the way AT&T has treated customers. The reason why AT&T is trying or thinking about selling is because they've got other things, other apps that they want to do in the future but a lot of their, their board members and owners are thinking that they should stick to Hulu because Hulu has done something that I'm gonna talk about in this next portion of this video that shows promise for them in the future. Now, right now, Hulu is not doing as well as people would like for them to do, but they're showing a lot of promise because Hulu just expanded there are live local TV channels. They probably got the biggest expansion of live local channels that you're gonna find anywhere on any streaming app. The only problem I have with that is if you've got antennas um, at your home, those great HD antennas, you can get your local channels in crystal clear 4K and not be paying anybody. So I don't know if that's gonna be a good bankable look for Hulu or not but they do have that and that's what they're banking their bread and butter on. Now back to AT&T. With them being so far in debt and them having to get out of that debt, they're trying to do other things in the future. They're even trying to invest in 5G technology. Do you think it's a good idea for them to go ahead and sell their state in Hulu or should they hold on to it and ride the Hulu wave as it grows? Now Hulu has over a million subscribers. Um, they're forecasting to be doing more next year because if, as you guys know, Disney's getting ready to take over Hulu and they're gonna be the majority share owner in Hulu. And Disney is gonna be doing a couple of streaming apps and putting more money into all their streaming apparatuses. So, you know, you've got a lot of stakeholders saying that maybe AT&T should hold on to them. But if you guys were sitting at that board table, tell me what would you do? Would you say, F this, we need to get out of debt and sell your 10% stake in Hulu, knowing Disney is gonna be pumping money into it? Or would you just hunker on down and see how Hulu grows, see if they're gonna make you that money back? Last thing that was a little bit of a drama, I don't know where the drama is at, but the company that makes the Roku TV is called TCL, well, it was rumored that they're not going to be making the Roku TV anymore. Ladies and gentlemen, X that out. It was, it's not true. What TCL is doing, they're a growing company. 
They've made some great leaps and bounds, and they're just splitting their company into two different groups. One is still going to be making those type of electronics, your TVs, um, your other electronics that they make, and then they're going to be going in a different direction with the split in the company. So if you love Roku TV and you still got it, don't worry about it. It is still going to be there. TCL is still going to be making it for you. You ain't got nothing to worry about on that. For the most part, ladies and gentlemen, that was all the cord cutting rumblings I could get my hands on this past week. But you guys leave me comments on how you feel about AT&T possibly selling their stake in Hulu. Do you use a Roku TV currently or are you all, fire, are you all streaming devices? And do you use Hulu and do you see the point in using Hulu for live TV when you damn near can get that with a good antenna? That's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video, comment and subscribe. Go get yourself that damn life gain. Go join the life gain financial and fitness channel. Follow me on my other social media outlets. Sign up for my email list. And until that next sex is hell video, I'll see you.